Hi everyone, good to uh, talk to you again. We are uh, another month in to uh, our work at the Innovation Lab. I hope everybody has uh, had a good holiday season and is ready to t tackle the new year. Uh, we're excited in this newsletter to report on several things. One is we're wrapping up our project in non-emergent medical transportation. Uh, we've been really pleased we've been able to provide 5,000 rides for our patients, generally home from the hospital or the EDs in a more, um, more user-friendly way. Uh, we've also provided some rides in places like radiation oncology, psychiatry, and OB. And uh, the vast majority of folks find that it's a useful service and a quick one. In fact, the median time uh, from when uh, the rides are hailed by our partner Kaizen Health to when they show up is just under nine minutes. So we're pleased with the service that that provides. We're also, with the new year, uh, saying goodbye to our most recent Innovation Lab fellow, Pat Lyons, pulmonary critical care doc here at WashU. He's been incredibly helpful in helping us understand better ways of developing predictive models for sepsis and clinical deterioration in our ICUs. He'll continue to work with us in building uh, better clinical workflows for integrating those prediction models into, uh, into our daily operations and ultimately improving care outcomes for our patients. And then finally, sadly, we've needed to say goodbye to one of our full-time staff, Victoria Freddy. She made the, uh, the very understandable decision to get closer to her family in Houston, uh, has actually taken a job at Texas Children's in, their, in innovation as well, and we're excited for her new opportunities, although, of course, very sad to see her go. So hopefully uh, you'll find um, the rest of the material in the newsletter engaging and interesting. Uh, there's even more detail available in our website. And uh, we're always open to new ideas, uh, questions, and uh, opportunities for partnership. So until next time, uh, I hope all the best for you, and uh, we'll speak then.